Greetings YouTube. So I have just completed today what is probably the uh, most far out there project I've ever been asked to do. And I didn't even think I was going to be able to do it. But the guy, uh, he saw me in person and he uh, even paid me a little bit to get me started. And I thought I was going to have to refund his money for a bit, but apparently that was not the case. And here it is. Like the uh, previous project, it uses uh, two F4T5s, although there's only one ballast because it's a small form factor. So we're very limited on space, but here in America we have 120 volt AC current, which uh, if you tried to use glow starters on this uh, type of setup with one ballast, at least if it's a choke ballast in series with the lamps, there won't be enough line voltage to get the starters to glow, so we had to do it manual preheat. And it also has a screw base. I sacrificed this part from one of my circle line adapters. And since I had more of them than I was going to use anytime soon, and I'd probably get more, it wasn't that big a deal. But anyways, he originally wanted this to go into a table lamp, and I'm going to show you how this works right now. I got a lamp holder here. So, and yeah, these wires have seen better days. This actually came out of my first exit sign where it was wired in series with another lamp holder just like it. Anyways, uh, I've got a, a computer cord here. I'm just, uh, get this, uh, Okay, that's both of the leads. Now, let's uh, watch it go. And this uh, starter switch is actually built specifically for starting fluorescent lamps. There's two starting loops that go to each of these uh, tubes. And there's also a line that goes to the hot lead, a load that goes to the ballast, and this in addition, and there's also the two starting loops. Though, uh, this could also be used theoretically with a uh, type of, uh, you know, if there were two ballasts, they were going in parallel, this could theoretically be used for that type of setup too. And you might notice that when I'm doing this, one glows before the other. It's slightly more interesting than your standard push and hold preheat setups but still not as interesting as if I were to use glow starters. And he even had an idea to use one glow starter to fire up both of these lamps, but I tried it and it didn't work, so we went with the manual setup, and he was okay with that. And again, these are the same F4T5s that I used in a previous uh, custom order fixture demonstration video, simply because we're a little short on supplies here, or at least short on 4 watt lamps. Anyways, uh, we'll just do one more starter for you. Excellent. And that is it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.